Yellow, one. All. Our team white. Team white. Wedge. Formation wedge. Forward. Right. Forward. Right. Forward. Mobile clock. Enemy. Stop. Oh. All right, welcome back everyone. Today we will be doing Dawn of Hope. This is the main operation for this section. Um, the SLA forces have landed behind the RAC's defensive line, which is located here. Uh, I believe they are, their landing positions are all across this area. We are unable to get any support from the Marine Corps fleet that's approaching the island, so we need to hold off the forces until the weather clears. So our objectives are to pick up Alpha Team, drive to the airport, uh, do stuff with Bravo, and then get in some strikers. Now, this, if you remember the past few episodes where I mentioned it, is the mission where long ago and far away when I played this, I did not get past this mission uh, due to either lack of time or lack of skill or possibly both. It was a very hard mission from what I remember. But if... If I remember right, there is a lot of armor around here. Tons and tons of armor. And I just won't be able to deal with it all. We can only play as one person as well. So, let's just get into it. SLA forces are closing in on the airfield! I say again! SLA forces are closing in on the airfield! Bastards! Damn weather. Man, I have tried this mission quite a few times, but it's always the one thing that kills me. It's the same thing every time. Say, uh, it's a BRDM with missiles on top run, run, run. that just snipes my armor and screws up my day. Oh, follow. Enabled. Squad. Assign team red. Oh, our team red. Squad. Watch north. Oh, watch one o'clock. Squad. Danger. Oh, danger. Two. Alert. Oh, stay alert. I didn't say all. Cancel. Squad. Disembark. Oh, disembark. Two. 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 Driver. Get in. That striker. Four. Four. Gun Two. Striker. Halt. Two. Stop. Five. Five. Driver. Get in. That one. one. Six. Three. Six. Move to. Three. Three. Two. Four. Three. Move to. One. Two. Four. Four. Watch north. Four. Watch. Nine o'clock. Squad. Watch north. Oh, watch! Nine o'clock! Squad. Keep low. Oh, keep low! 
Seven, team follow ready, one. Sir. Eight, team white. Follow one. Nine, follow one. Ten, so team blue. Follow one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Our team blue. Come in. Seven. Team blue. Team blue. Team blue. Go watch north. One, two, zero. Team blue. Watch. Ten o'clock. Forward, left, forward, right, forward, right, forward. Right, forward, left, forward, left, forward. Bravo headquarters, left, forward, stop. It's gone, they're all dead. Seven. Seven, gunner, get in, that at one, one, three. Two. Four. Assign team yellow. Two. Four. Our team yellow. Seven. Five. Assign team green. Seven. Five. Our team blue. Seven. Five. Assign team green. Seven. Five. Our team, team green. green. Team green. Team green. Two. One. Zero. Watch three. north. Team Green, watch nine o'clock. Team Blue, regroup. Team Blue, fall back into formation. Team Blue, assign Team Red. Eight, nine, ten, R. Team Red. Team Red, wedge. Team Red, regroup. Team Red, return to formation. Team Red. Aware. Eight, nine, ten. Stay alert. Team Green. Watch north. Team Green. Watch nine o'clock. Team Red, stay low. Team Red, keep low. Team Red. Disabled. Of all my runs, this is the only one where the helicopter has actually been destroyed. So my plan is to take uh, infantry up here and try to deal with the BRDMs. There should be two. Uh, one is anti-tank, one is anti-infantry, and light anti-armor. It is going to be a thing. Team Red. Oh. Enabled. Team Red. Team Red, move to one, three, three. Team Red. Regroup. Team Red, return to formation. Project. Team Red.
Team Red. Team Red. Team Red, go to one, three, three. Ten. Team Red. Team Red, go to three, four, one. Shit. Team Green. Team Green, move Team to Yellow. Zero, eight, two, one. Team Yellow, go to zero, seven, two, one. Team Yellow. Team Green. Team Red. Get down. Team Red, go pro! Team Red. Line. Formation line. Three. Three. Move to two, Eight. four, one. Eight, nine, go to zero, two, five, nine, go to one, three, four. Left, stop. Left, forward, forward. Left, forward, stop. Reverse, right, reverse, stop. Forward, right, forward, left, forward. God, I actually hit him. Left, forward, stop. Reverse. Forward. 
Team Green. Team Yellow. Watch, uh, East. Team Yellow, watch, 9 o'clock. Team Yellow. Sign Team Blue. Two, four, R Team Blue. S team Blue. Watch Southeast. Team Blue, watch, 9 o'clock. Team Red. Stand up. Team Red, stand up! Team Red. Crouch. Team Red, stay crouch! Team Green, stop. Team Green, stop! Disabled. Striker can always get out of here, but this guy never can, it's weird. Team Red. Enabled. Team Red. Team Red, get in! That hit one, one, three! Disabled. It's worth the save here after all we've accomplished. I think this is better than the first time I ever did this mission, because I never had the striker for the second part. I only had, uh, I had the deuce and a half with the machine gun right there. Enabled. Team Green. Regroup. Oh, return to formation. Team Green. Column. Squad. Watch east. Oh, watch twelve o'clock. Crossroad to all squads. All enemy forces at the airport are destroyed or retreating. More SLA troops have landed and are now attacking the RAX defenses to the east. If that position falls, all the SLA heavy armor will come pouring in along the northern coastal road. Foxtrot and Gulf, you are to move north and intercept these landing forces. Over. Foxtrot 1, understood. Move north and intercept landing forces. Out. All squads, load up. We're moving out. Okay, but we already had vehicles. Guess I remembered wrong. Listen up. 
Two, three, four, five. Assign team red. Seven, eight, nine. Assign team blue. Three. Assign team green. Squad. Two, disembark. Squad. Assign team white. Next set. Disembark. Four, disembark. Five, disembark. Seven, disembark. Eight, disembark. Nine, machine gun. Nine, disembark. Six, ten, follow. One, all. Our team white. Team white. Wedge. Formation wedge. Forward, right, forward, right, forward. Sniper at 200 meters. Come on, gun. Crossroad to Fox Drive. Right. Lost contact Double with clock. the racks Man. to bend in the east and the seven has been overrun. Squad. Two, four, six, ten. Watch. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Two hundred meters. What are you doing? Shoot him. Team. Squad. Squad. Danger. All oh, danger! EMP at 500 meters. One o'clock. EMP. Crossroad to all units. All enemy forces have been defeated. Assume defense. 
defensive positions along the coast and await further orders. Crossroad out. Disabled. I took a day's break just to finish it that quick. Are you kidding me? That was my first attempt. <laughs> Five stars. Wow. Okay, um... After all that pain and suffering last night of me trying to figure out the best way to take on that armor column, all I had to do was wait for the Harriers and just... Okay, we're going to talk about this in a second. I'm going to flip to a different screen and we're going to talk about tactics, but if you're not interested in talking about that, go ahead and go to the next video. Thank you all for watching. Just realized I should probably play this video. Never mind. I swear, right up until those Harriers came screaming in over our heads, I, I thought we were all dead. We were. As it was, most of us already were. Yeah. The reporter and her cameraman were KIA soon after the shooting started. Mm -hmm. No matter how much we shouted at them, they kept standing right up there on the ridge. I'm sure they got some great footage. I finally got a night's rest after that, but we were up again at them the next day. Colonel Davis, our new CO led the counterattack, and we shoved the SLA straight back to Corazol. Now we just need to dislodge him from there. I hear the NDR is finally talking with reporters. Torres, their prime minister, says he had good reasons for ambushing American troops like that. I can't wait to hear them. Same. Alright, we are now officially treading new waters. I have not done any of these missions yet in my whole ARMA career. Also, we can only choose one of these, uh... One of these side missions. So we have a convoy attack where it looks like... chopper assault. So they're both chopper missions it looks like. And then we have the main mission which is the assault on Corazol. Which if you don't know what Corazol is, it's the city from the first mission with my introduction and everything. Alright, so next time we'll be taking on one of these. I'm not sure which. I'll make the decision later. Um, in the meantime, this will be the end of the video, and I'm going to be talking about tactics for that last mission. So I will see you all either in five seconds or in the next video. Alright, so we're going to talk about what worked and what didn't in the first and second half of that mission. I'll be honest, I didn't expect it to be that easy the second time. Today's like the second day I booted it up, and I'm like, oh great, now I'm going to have to play this like three times. I beat it on the first try. So, the first part of the mission, I'm not going to lie, I spent quite a bit of time on as my squeak chair decides to squeak. Um, the main reason for that is the obscene amount of armor that is on the runway at the time compared to what you have. Now with the ace mod, as you know, uh, rocket troopers will only carry one missile. Rocket troopers, you know what I mean. The missile soldiers will only carry one missile's anti-tank uh, guys with the log or the log, I can't remember which one it is, I think it's a log. By the way, you pick up your Alpha Squad here, you go to Bravo Squad, and then there's three pieces of armor, there's two BRDMs, and then there is a BMP you're going to have to take care of. Now, as you saw, I tried many different strategies. Uh, let me go ahead and highlight it in red. I'm going to do some drawing on here. So, the strategy I did long ago and far away was I immediately took my soldiers, moved up to this area, because there's the walls here that give you some protection. And I just took my soldiers over here and set up a small defensive line where we could pretty much get eyes on whatever armor was out there. And that doesn't work out too well uh, from what I've found. Now, I thought that was an easier way to do this. Why? Why would you do this to me, game? Or game? Program? Wow. The, the, um, 
the plan that I found the best is you take your forces and you move up and this is not my drawy tool that's my drawy tool you move your forces in and instead of going here you go over to the striker immediately that way you do have cover by using the striker from the enemy uh, vehicles let's just say there's one here there's one here and the BMP is somewhere over here but it goes this way now as you saw the best idea is to move the striker to the middle here and destroy the BMPs BMPs the BRDMs because they're very very weak to 50 caliber rounds the BMP is a little bit more resilient but after you have to reload or if either of your squads are taking a lot of fire what you want to do is you want to fire your smoke rounds so that you obstruct their view into the compound there are guys out here but you can't really do much to save them um, and after that you can probably the BMPs probably in this area by that time so you can just either fire through the smoke and hit them or you can wait until it partially clears and then hit them and knock them out and that's how you take care of this first portion on the first part of the map we're going to talk about the second portion in a second now, where is my delete everything button? I know there is one. I've used it before. Ah, there it is. Now, the other tactics that can work, if you're not going to want to use the striker here, um, another thing you can do is you can come in. I didn't show this off, but you can come. That's not a good color. You can come into here, and you can either A, grab the squad, or B, forget them, still go over here using these buildings as cover and knock out the wall that's right about there. Uh, the BMP is probably right about here at this point, it's still heading that way. You'll still have the BRDMs to deal with, but if you have enough anti-armor, you can creep up this wall, and there is that little, uh, the Rax vehicle there, but that won't help that much. But once you're at this corner, you can probably knock out the BMP in one rocket, and then take care of the rest of the armor. Uh, remember, BRDMs do have tires. You can shoot those tires out with a basic M16 if you need to. It just takes a little while. But that is another alternative, just using your infantry to hit the guys from the uh, the wall corner over there. And it does work on this side as well, albeit not as well, because you have the arm over here to worry about. And because they're heading this way, they're all focused on this general region throughout here if that makes sense. Also the entrance, but that's a given. So those are the two ways I figured out how to do this portion. The second portion is a little hit or miss by these hangars, because what you have is you have the uh, the BRDM out here with the anti-tank rockets on it, which I think it could fire more than four, which doesn't make sense to me. I thought it was only four. You have the BRDM out here, and then you have I think the second BRDM, the the anti-infantry one, unless it's a BMP and I didn't notice, but I think it's a BRDM. And he is either located, and we'll do it in a different color, he's either located out here with him, or as you guys saw, he was located, I think, over here. Um, in the many attempts that I did this, it was about a 50-50 shot of where he was. Uh, the worst part is that is of course the BRDM has line of sight to pretty much all your armor over there. He will not fire on your infantry, so the best way I came up with it is you leave your striker if you choose... Okay, that's a bad color to use. Uh, let's go with a pink. Pink is pretty easy. You leave all your armor in the base so that they're protected by the walls. Then you take your infantry squads, whoever's left, mainly your, your AT specialist. I took my whole squad that's probably not a good idea. Um, I'd recommend just taking one or two anti-armor guys. If you have no one with anti-armor, tell them to resupply at the crate here or one of the crates on the front lines. But you're gonna take your guys out the front gate and shift them over using the vehicles right about here as cover. Move up to the hangar. Trust me, you don't wanna take cover in any of these buildings here. You will get immediately shot by uh, possible infantry out here. There are infantry. I really hope I'm recording. I am. By possible infantry, because there are sometimes infantry out there if they're not dead, um, or the BRDM. But once you're here, 
you have a few different paths, you can peek around this corner and try to get line of sight on the BRDM with the anti-tank missiles. If you do that, you can, if you knock him out and you see the other one there, you can either try to knock him out, or you can go back, get your striker, assuming it's still alive, or the other one with a 50 cal, the Rax vehicle. What is it? It's a M113, I think. And you take that out here, and then you engage the other armor with that. And that's how you win the first portion. That is the easiest way that I have found that you can do it. Now, uh, give me a second and we'll swap to portion 2. Alright, portion 2 is a little bit different. Also, I'm, I'm using the texture one for this. Uh, I have a texture and a non-texture of both. I just used the non-texture on the first one. This one's a little bit more odd because it... I'm not even going to... Uh, pretend to know all the ins and outs, but here's your dismount point. The enemy forces are located along this beach line, and you also have boats coming in from the north, which I don't have enough space to show you, but you guys know where they're coming from. I've got a, quite a few. I have tried this many different ways. Uh, the easiest way I found is, well, I'll explain a different way. Uh, you can, you have two strikers, only one of which is under your control, which is dumb. There is a way to get into the grenade la launcher one. you got to jump in the back when it's holding still, and then you can take it over, but you can't control the people inside that well. But uh, if you take, if you can do an infantry approach where you just take your whole force on foot. You move to about this line, and then you just have everyone fire down into there. This is a fairly risky maneuver um, for various reasons. One, they have the BRDM. Two, they have a lot more guys than you. You have a squad of roughly 10 soldiers at this point. And they have 20, 20 dudes, roughly. I didn't get a good head count, but there are quite a few down there. Uh, if you have watched the video, which you should have by now, uh, you will know this. Now then, the other option that you have is, as I used, um, you take the striker, and with the striker, you push down to about this area. From here, you have line of sight to everything, including all the way over to the rack's uh, defensive line, which will bite you in the ass eventually. I will explain in a sec. But from here, you hit the BRDM immediately, you take out the missile soldiers first, which I didn't do too well in the successful attempt. I did it very well in the other attempts. Uh, if I'm not feeling lazy, I should cut in some footage here. But once you do that, you just uh, spend 200 to 300 rounds, mop up everyone, have the foot forces of yours in a line right about there so that they can fire down as well. And that works out pretty well. Now, after you're done with that portion, your forces will be around this area. Uh, the other striker will probably be about there or about there. The problem with this is that there is a T-72, and I should not use that color for doing this. You have you have quite a few forces, and I'm just going to do them in, a, uh, in circles. You would probably have a BRDM here or here, and then you have BRDM T-72, BRDM, and they are all heading this way. In all my other attempts, they were heading that way. Um, of course, this line is being overrun. There's not much you can do about that. You will have Harrier support coming in eventually, and they'll be coming in like this. But the, the best, my idea, even though I won without doing much, is have the striker right here, he can have line of sight all the way down here, but there's hills and stuff here. As you can see, there's a 138 uh, and a 33. So throughout this area or this area, you should probably set up your troops, your AT troops, and have them watch the road section right about there, uh, assuming you still have AT. But if you do that, then they should be able to knock out one or two tanks while you're firing your striker. And they do have range on you. One of my things, they were about 700 meters out. They just made it rain 100% accuracy on my striker and killed me. Um, it was not, not a pretty sight. But that's more or less what my thoughts on this part are. Even though I got a pretty easy win because I was just over here and the, uh, the air support did all the work, which was good.
I was glad they did that because, let's be honest, fighting a T-72 and all those BRDMs slash BMPs is uh, not fun. But that is that was my basic stratagem. Uh, if you have any any tactics you use, or if you know of any that are more efficient than this, because trust me, this is not the most efficient in the world, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, it's It'd be a good discussion to have, definitely. And it might help out other people who are doing this mission, either in Arma 1 or Arma 2, because there is a mod in Arma 2 that ports this whole campaign over to it, which I will not be playing at the moment. Alright guys, I want to thank you all for watching and supporting this series by watching it. Um, I know this mission, for me, it took a little bit, but uh, I'm excited to get into new territory. I get to fly a helicopter, I get to possibly crash it stupidly like I did a long time ago, and I, uh, I get to experience some new content. It'll be a good time. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.